If you've downloaded or purchased any presets or settings from me, here is how you can load them from start to finish. First, you'll receive a email from me. In that email, you'll have a link to download your files. First, click that link, let the file download, and then drag the file over to your flash drive. From there, you'll take your flash drive and plug it into your console. First, this is how you can load the channel presets onto your channel library. First, you'll press library. Now I, of course, already have these loaded onto my board, but I'm going to import them again. This will require you to overwrite some of the presets that come on the board. So I'm gonna start on number 21. You press library, your channel tab, and then scroll to whatever preset you don't care to overwrite, and then you'll press utility. And from here, you can go to this encoder knob and click import. And here is my folder that I didn't rename. I'll scroll, open that folder, and now you can see the other items that are in that folder. There's channel settings, so we will go channel settings and select, 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 and so on. From here, I'm just going to import these. I'm not going to worry about all of them, but I'm going to start here and say import, import selected preset at position 21 and override existing ones. It's part of it, so we'll say confirm. And now we can see 21 through 26 are some of our drum presets here. That is how you can load the channel presets into the preset library. And the same will go for our effects. If you scroll over to your effects tab, press utility, and then import, you can follow that same process there. So now one of the most common issues I see people run into on the X32 is not understanding how to assign effects to a bus and then send channels to that effect. So here's how you do it. First, you wanna make sure that the effect you want to use is indeed loaded into an effects slot. So the first thing you do is click effects, so you can either load your effect by selecting the effects slot and then scrolling through and choosing your effect, or you can load one of the presets that you just loaded onto the console. And you would do that by clicking library, scrolling to your effects tab. So for this demonstration, I'll show you how to actually change the effect preset here. So first you can see that you select the effects slot. So effect one, meaning the effect that we were just looking at here. Effects one. Current effect there is the rich plate reverb. And from here, if we were to scroll around, we are going to replace the rich plate reverb with this hall reverb. So from there, we'll click there. Load preset to the current effect slot. Confirm. And now, if we go back to the effect slot, we can see that for that first one, your hall reverb is selected. Personally, I like the vocal plate, so I'm actually going to replace it back. And the same would go if you wanted to change effects slot two, three, four, any of those. So that's how you can change the effects in the effects slots using our presets that we just loaded. Once you've made those changes and you're happy with the effects that you have ready to go, there's a few things you have to be aware of. First, what effect do you have on what bus? I always recommend leaving these 13, 14, 15, and 16. So here I have my voice coming through channel 25 and I'm ready to add reverb onto this channel, or should I say send this channel through a reverb. Once you've assigned your effects in the way that you want to use them, and you've designated which reverb you want to be your vocal, in this case, you're going to press the select button on that vocal channel. You'll press sends on fader. And now, based on which effect you're using, in our case, we're actually gonna use bus 15 as our vocal. After pressing sends on fader, now what this has done is rather than when this is undone, you're seeing all of your buses as essentially little master faders. Now, when you press sends on fader, you are seeing the channel 
what it is being sent into, meaning now any faders that are up, this vocal channel is being sent to those buses. So in our case, bus 15 here, this vocal is being sent here. And now you can see that it is reaching that reverb. If we turn this down, it's gone. So nothing will be going there. If we turn it back up, this is while in sends on fader, we are going through that bus 15 reverb. So I'm going to take out of sends on fader, undo that. And now another thing to note, when you're out of sends on fader and your buses are here as usual, they are essentially little master faders for that reverb. So what we can do is if we turn this down, we can see that there's nothing there. Turn it back up, and now it is receiving sound to the reverb. One more thing to note, on your left-hand side here where your console says effects returns, you can click that, and now you'll see that there are eight channels over here of effects returns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Each of these are linked, and these are what we call returns from the bus sends and effects. What this means is you can imagine your channel here is being plugged into an external reverb unit and then plugged back into the board. So now this linked channel here becomes the master fader for your reverb. This is essentially a reverb channel now. So if at any point you don't have sound on these effects returns, the places you will look are on your source channel. Click the home button and go over to sends. From there, you can see all the way at the end that we are post fader and that signal is being sent. You can see there on the bus itself that it is receiving sound and it's not muted. Sends on fader, and it is not muted. And then you come to your effects returns section, and you can see that it is receiving sound. However, if we were to click mute now, blah, 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 there is no sound coming to the effect return. If we sends on fader and mute, you can see that now there is no sound coming from the bus. Unmute, and we're back. Repeat this for any channel that you need an effect on, and you'll be good to go. Links for all of my presets are in the description below.